Well, boys, it's raining pretty good. Which it has been raining a lot. I'm glad I put the greater blade on 82 and made this little uh, swale here. So, still some water here. There's actually a, another drain right there as well. Runs over there into that. All that pipe runs to the lower side of the shop. So, reason I was outside. Well, let me mute the TV. So, I was in here working. I put the plastic over here and then I heard. You're going to do it while I'm here? Probably not. But anyhow. I heard water dripping on this plastic, and this was the only corner I did not staple the plastic up in, so I got water running, and this uh, this would be the joint between the old roof and the new roof here. I got one little spot where there's water running. Almost looks like it's just right here. And I know when I tar papered this, the tar paper runs clear over probably about to the edge of uh, where the barn is. I, I overlap it about two foot. And I also shingled over about two foot. So. That's interesting. And like a genius, I didn't really leave away. Well, I kind of did. I got to get up from the far side, but there's no plywood or nothing up in the top there. And see if it's leaking down from way up top and running, and that's just where it's hitting. But near as I can tell, it looks like it's not from a little bit I'm seeing. So originally I come out here to start fiddling with this tractor, but. Uh, I guess that's going to have to wait. I'm going to have to figure out where my roof is leaking. And then try and fix it. But that's the only time I've noticed the water. But it has been raining a lot here. And I mean, it has rained a lot. I was in a sloppy mess yesterday. I'll insert the video stolen from uh, Top Notch Tractors here. So, uh, yeah. I was, I was kind of hung up. So Anyhow. I guess I'm gonna have to get up in the attic in the far side and look. Oh, it's something. You know, you never, you never, never just get to come out in the shop working on tractors. I don't have too much firewood either, but I got a nice little fire going, so it's. I don't know. It's 40 something outside, and it's uh, upper 50s in here anyhow, so it's not freezing. But anywho, let me look up in there. The nice thing is, I only need to be like right there in that window that's up in there from the other side. It should be good enough hopefully so see if I get attacked by a mouse or snake or bat or something looks like a big comfy mattress don't it eh, it's really not that comfy it makes me itchy just looking at it it's actually the first time I've been up in here since I built this I haven't uh, haven't needed to be up here but near as I can tell Unless you guys can see better than me. I don't see anything up this way. I'll put the camera down and kind of feel around, but uh, I'm just not seeing anything. Of course, the second joist in is one. See the gap there? There's a couple that weren't together real good. That must have been one. Everything else looks pretty good. You can kind of tell I didn't really measure where these went. Hence, that one. And those ones. So... But any use. Yeah, I don't see anything. It's just wet down there, so there's got to be a nail pulled out or something. Um, and you can't really see it from here, but... Anyhow, let me check this over a little better, and... <sighs> Unfortunately, I think that means we're going to have to get on the roof to fix this. Great. Just great. The other side is good. Here's I could tell. I don't see any water over there, but I did staple the plastic up the whole way, which... Hmm. So, again, Annie Hughes. See what I can do. <coughs> All 
Alright boys, I'm going to take the Ingersoll out and plow some snow with her. I've never actually plowed snow with it. Oil is good. At least the level. A little on the dark side. Kind of like how some people like their coffee. So, cold start. Always a beautiful running tractor. Alright, I'm going to uh, pump up this tire and uh, I'm going to put a little gas in it and I'll meet you guys out front. Alright boys, so the snow is actually melting, so uh, I'm not going to have very much of an opportunity to get a good video, but take her for a little bit of a run here. My dad just showed up. So I'm guessing my plowing video is going to be cut even shorter, but uh, you guys get the drift. So I can't really tell if the pictures are coming out, but I got the 424 38-inch snubbler, 8163B and a 38-inch snubbler, 8122 and a 8199KT in here. So, uh, near as I can tell, that would be <clears throat> four riders and two walk-behinds would probably fit in here with ease. So, I'm impressed. And this would also be, uh, give or take, 4,000 pounds in here. So, interesting, very interesting, Mr. Blunt. It's a nice day, too. Perfect. You can, Sander. 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 You can jump really high. Yes. Hi. observation it stayed uh, caught 47 in here overnight and it is uh, like 30 or 31 degrees outside we'll say but the humidity went up exponentially overnight I wonder if it's just because not putting any dry air in here sucking the uh, moisture out of it or, or what it's just kind of odd but uh, it was damp yesterday, so maybe it's drawn in here because it's hot. You know, cold air goes, cold air is more dense than hot air. I don't know. Anywho, but uh, 6 in the morning right now, 47 degrees. I don't know how the glare is for you guys, but for me it's pretty terrible on the, the thermometer. But anywho, just got a fire going, which it was still, eh, there was no fire, but it was still glowing in there. So, anyhow. See how warm it is later. I'm probably not going to be out in the shop too much today, but I could be wrong. So guys, it's now about 7.30. And... What do you got there? Roughly 55 degrees. It's definitely way warmer in here than outside. It's 29 degrees outside right now. I got a good fire going. I usually, uh... But every two hours I like to monkey with the fire. 
But uh, I'm just trying to get it warm in here, and then uh, probably about 8:30 or so, I gotta leave again. So I'll make sure the fire is going good when I leave, and then when I come back, hopefully I can come out and get some more work done. So later, guys. So it's now about 11:30, and I haven't been out here since 7:30. So I haven't really gained any. Uh, on the temperature, but I haven't lost any, but the humidity has gone down greatly. So apparently it draws in the, the damp air whenever it cools off. Interesting. Very interesting. <laughs> so if anybody wants to explain to me the logic on how this is working right now, I see the U-bolt still over here. I mean, I've, I've seen sturdier things, <laughs> and I came two miles home with this, I can't believe it, I can't believe it worked. See, the U-bolts are completely gone on this side, there's still a U-bolt on the other side, and I only got probably half the axle, so, interesting. Oh yeah. I don't want to get underneath of it and measure the axle spacing. See if I can get an axle for it, but uh, yeah, we'll fix it. I'll fix it one day. It probably won't be tonight or tomorrow, but I'll fix it one day. So, alright, I'll find a place to park this thing, and if I have to, I'll move it with Haas over here. Later, guys. Oh, you guys see his darkness. Over there somewhere, maybe. Or maybe stage left. Well, boys, January 6th here, hopefully, yeah, I think you guys can see it, I can see the snowflakes going by, but, uh, January 6th here, about 11 o'clock, just starting to snow, and we're supposed to get anywhere from, uh, the joke is, one inch to eight inches, uh, originally they said five to eight, we're kind of on the th one to five line I mean I don't I really don't think they know what's gonna happen here but uh, it's plenty cold enough to stay snow at least at the moment so I got heat going in the shop maybe we'll work on some projects later here while it's snowing or I'll sit inside and play video games hard to say kind of been in that kind of mood lately hence why I haven't got much done for YouTube so hopefully we get some snow later we'll get to play with some tractors Twenty minutes later, boy has it changed. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So boys and girls, it's uh, somewhere between 1 and one thirty right now. Yeah, I don't know, yeah, maybe an inch. It's like half snow, half sleet. Quite interesting. So, anywho, I guess I'm going to go back inside and play video games because my heater is going good out here. So. There it goes. So as you guys could see by the one picture I took of this carburetor part, this carb was nasty. I left the fuel on and yeah, that's what you get. Should have run it dry, then at least the float would have been open, but hopefully, I think you, oh, you guys can see that, I was ethanoled. But also, <laughs> I don't remember the last time I ran this generator. The only time I used to really run this generator is when I welded out here, and I haven't welded out here in a fair bit. And I got that stick welder a couple years ago, which I had to fire that up too, because I haven't ran that uh, probably all last year. Unless it was the year before I got it working. I don't know. It's been about a year. So, anywho, I'm supposed to get uh, like 50 mile an hour winds tomorrow, so I figured it was a good time to get this running. 
So, it seems to run, it's okay. Not amazing, but okay. Is there what it looked like? I ain't bad. So as soon as I turn the camera on, the, uh, the wind dies down, but it just howls through the, the valley down here. I can hear another gust coming, so I'll stand put for a minute. Well, maybe I'm wrong. Alright, well, I'm tired of getting wet. So. Oh, not the, uh, the mailbox was actually blown open, so... Yeah. The big tracker is stayed and ready. I should have went down and got fuel for it yesterday. No oh well. About one o'clock in the afternoon if you can hear me. Things have picked up, the power has been on and off, so I'm just out here uh Doing some complimentary checks, make sure there's nothing I gotta deal with. My brother's home, why is he sitting in the driveway? Interesting. Hey, there's a branch down out there. Alright. Back to the house. Nothing real big down and I see a bunch of small stuff. Not make sure the mail wasn't there, so it didn't blow away. Thus far, not yet. Okay, nothing big is going on. So, so. alright, I'm gonna go out and see how the uh, kerosene heater is doing out in the barn. I've been curious to see if it would heat that side. We'll see. Oh boys, I don't know if you guys can see or not, but I think the second round of wind is here. I, uh, I just missed a nice gust that blew all the leaves up and everything. So, so I'm going to go back in the shop. I need to make some phone calls about uh, getting jobs, and, uh, and I'll go from there. Alright, alright. I hear another gust of wind coming. I'm going to hang out here for a minute. You guys see the heat off the wood stove? Curiosity for later. I can hear it in the distance. I also just saw a snowflake go by. Snowflake? Wood ash. I think it was snowflake. Must have a nice juicy fire going. 34 seconds. Come on, wind. Sounds like it's getting closer. 53 seconds. Maybe I'll give it two minutes. Walk around the back of the shop here. See all the trees laid down in the woods back here? That one back there is a fresh, a fresh, a fresh split. You guys can see that big, uh, I believe that's a cherry. Oh, it's right behind the door. Uh, you guys can see her down there. I don't want to zoom and get the camera locked up. So.
Well, it's been almost two minutes, so I'm going to just hang it up. Yep, call it. Walk around the barn door and see if I get anything, but I doubt it. It's so wet and muddy around here. Nice and windy. Alright boys and girls, see if I can get Big Bertha to start here. You guys see the stack? I think so. Um, 9 degrees last night, it's uh maybe 20 degrees right now. I really hope you guys saw that good, but uh, pretty cool. It's actually not knocking too bad or nothing. So put that warm up and zap the full camera battery in that uh, three minutes as cold as it is. So I'm going back inside. I'll let this thing run for a little while. Guys, see any numbers? I don't see any numbers. <laughs> a lot different from when I was a kid.